I uh, my grandpa Drew was obsessed with Mash um, and eighties movies. Movies with Steve Gutenberg in them. Yep. 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 Was it Three Men and a Little Baby? Even though he was and kind of like the Dane movies. Cook of the eighties. Dane Cook has a Twitch channel now. What? All right, so it's called Dane Cook Gaming. Neebs, I was watching Neebs stream on Twitch. And they rated, they were, they looked at this guy and they're like, oh, he's only got like 200, follow, 200 people watching. And uh-huh. they're like, it said Dane Cook Gaming, but we weren't sure if we wanted to rate his channel. And then they rated it and they started listening to him talk and it's him. And he has a little Twitch, <laughs> Twitch promo video. Where he has like a home theater downstairs and he has like this big ass TV on the wall and like he plays Warzone. He streams War Dane Cook streams fucking Warzone to like five hundred people. One good video and maybe like two or three good stand ups and that was it. Mm, the Super no. Shopper movie was good. I don't know what he happened was, to him. His humor Jeff, you were too young. He was he, popular for a long time. He was the first like, person the to take mid two thousands. He was he for was like the first five, person to years. take comedians from like being like I wear a suit and tie and I'm kind of a nerd but I tell jokes to like having like a rock star persona. Like nobody's done that, you know. Like they wanted to be like I, I don't know. I'd still give that to Burt Kreischer because like he fucking lets his man titties fly and Dane, lets his Dane beard Cook, cut and hang out. Dane, Dane Cook, Cook did it was ninety four, ninety five. He's the same age. No, he's the same age. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I, he's I've fifty. Seen, I've seen quite a few of Dane Cook's stand ups. Like I'll, I'll admit, he's he's funny, but he doesn't make me laugh. Uh, like but other comedians the do. older you get like, the less like, funny his humor is that's the fair, thing to be fair to be fair i listen to or i watch uh ron white and uh dave ingall uh, dan cook Larry was the before the uh, before the blue collar comedy tour like See, everyone was funny. like seinfeld or well I like eddie murphy yeah. still okay so when when burt started out and was still living in an apartment and poor Dane Cook had already started to blow up. Yeah. Like, Bert was hanging out with Dane when Dane was already loaded with money. There's a, Like, Bert has told I, this story, like, hundreds of times. Like, he was I, popular I respect that. I respect for a that. very long time. But, but, even even at that time, was he as famous as Bert Kreischer is now? Yeah, way more. He had, Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, he was putting albums and stuff out. Like you could ask my parents. Albums. You could ask my 2000s. parents who Burt Kreischer is, and they'd be like, "Who?" If you oh. ask them who Dane Cook is, she, she'd be like, "Oh, that's Dane that Cook guy that like wore tank tops and fucking was sweating. everything." Yeah, and then okay. for and then for some reason, not long after he made that movie about like where he works at Sam's Club and Jessica Simpson and Dax are in it. Yeah, oh, like yeah. nothing. Super... Jessica Alba now oh no god. jessica simpson oh my god but right like right after that movie like i don't know what happened like he just kind of like fell off no the I, all right so this is this is my dane cook theory i think it was kind of like rollerblading uh-huh. where everybody thought it was really cool Right, and then there was like that one person that started being like, "Oh, he's fruit, fucking stupid." Or, fruit, you know fruit what I mean? Boot and skating is where right. it's at. Nickelback. Yeah. Right, like, and I'll, I'll it just, admit, there's it like blew there's up. like five and a half songs by Nickelback uh, that I like. And it was like pre-internet, so it was probably like word of mouth, like, "Oh, if you like Dan Cook, he steals right. jokes," or like, "He's not funny anymore." Uh, do you mean pre-internet or like pre-popular internet? Hey, Kato, are you here now? I'm pretty yeah. sure that he was okay, huge. Okay, I, I wanted to say congratulations on the engagement. Oh, thank you, man. Thank I, you. I haven't been able to tell you in or I was going to say in person, but over voice. But yeah, congratulations, man. I'm going to c- clip you, this. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to clip mm-hmm. this and call it C6 Talks About Dane Cook Gaming and make it a YouTube video. <laughs> Do you have any last words you'd like to say before the video ends for the Dane Cook section? Whoever's listening to this, I love you. Have a good day. Okay. And a good We're not doing an outro. I just want to know if you... Toad was in the middle of something about Dan Cook when you started telling Kato. Congratulations. Oh, no, Dane no. Cook. I just, Your theory. My, my thing was that uh, he was popular also during the time of the whole 
Carlos Mencia shitstorm. Yeah, and everybody was like, Carlos Mencia is like stealing everyone's jokes, right? That was that. All right, I right. might be too. And young they had like they had like videos. He's Hispanic oh, comedian. Hey, don't don't say that. All right, I, I'm pretty cultured for a for a 24 year old. Michael. Yeah. Really. And yeah. was pretty popular. Hey, and then somebody it makes put, you feel better. I don't know if it was TMZ or it was like YouTube started oh, getting Joe big Rogan around then. Up. That's what it was, Joe Rogan. Really. And then he had no, clips no, of, like, like, the first... original joke and then his joke and then the original joke and then his joke. And they're, like, word for like, word. Oh, it's not, like, the same, like, you know, Joe Rogan. Cosby. I don't know, Phoenix, I don't know what brought this to mind, but you remember that one documentary you re- recommended to, like, your dad or your stepdad or whatever? I can't remember which. Uh, it was, like, uh, Ancient Apocalypse. Yeah, Ancient Apocalypse. No. Yeah, yes. yeah, I remember. I ended up watching Ancient that whole thing, and Did I you? ended up watching the whole Joe Rogan podcast, and I was like, holy fucking shit, this guy might be onto something. Yeah. Not it's, to go off on a tangent. It's like right the thing, same but... people that make Ancient Aliens. So you gotta be like, you gotta... Keep it's that. skeptical. But the problem is, is that this guy actually has fucking evidence to back it up. Yeah. Like, tangible evidence. Oh, so it's kind of really like... Gotta watch <sighs> that Joe Rogan breaks down also on his show is... Uh, Finding Hitler. That's insane. That's a good one. I've seen that. That is a really good one. Or like the uh, the one where it's uh, a documentary crew following Jews who are hunting down not just German soldiers, but like the actual SS, the guys who were actually a part of the fucking Holocaust. That went to like that's one thing. People get mixed up. Brazil like, and not all of the Argentina German army is Nazis. Yeah. There's your fucking conscripts, your soldiers, and then the SS were the Nazis. Yeah, the... Uh... It was like a huge commune in uh, Argentina. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. You know what remember. else? It's like some, some, some sort of commune up. A the... bunch of racist ass fucking southerners from the 1800s. And the guys that escaped from Alcatraz. <laughs> that too. <laughs> if you believe the theory. <laughs> oh, Kato, where'd you go? Come on, Kato, get your shit together, brother. <laughs> 